Hey guys, I'm at my buddy Brian's house. And this, if you'll remember this past summer, this 56 Buick Roadmaster pulled into my driveway. And uh, Brian's been working on this car for a long time. And if you'll recall, uh, he was driving it and a bull was out in the road. He topped the hill and there was a bull that had got out of the pasture and pretty much just demolished the front end on this Buick. If you go back to last summer, I'm talking like 2019, last summer, uh, he drove his car over here and everything was matched. I mean, the green and all that. But since then, Brian's got it to running again. It, it, it's a thousand wonders, to be honest with you. It didn't kill him. He uh, And if you go back this past summer in my videos, you'll see that GTO he had, a 2004 GTO. He drove this car to work. Uh, he was going to drive it to work. And he... That's about an hour, hour and a half drive, I guess, and just guessing. And he was going to drive, he thought about driving a GTO, but he changed his mind and thought he'd drive this Buick Roadmaster. That's how reliable and good this car is. But he told me if he'd have drove the GTO, the bull would have, is a big, huge bull, would have probably killed him. So he's glad he drove this car. But you can kind of see what's happened to it now. He's looking for some Roadmaster parts. Now, I don't know what all Roadmaster parts he needs, but uh, it's not Buick Special. It's not none of the other stuff. It has to be Roadmaster. Roadmaster is kind of like a different, almost a different animal as far as Buick, Buick uh, cars go in 56, and I guess 55 too, but I think he said he was needing some chrome and stuff, but I'm not sure, but he's he's done a whole lot in a short amount of time really since last summer he got pretty bruised up but uh well there's the i guess that's a tag he had on the front too that's all bent up tags are easy to replace the parts for these cars are kind of hard to come by so if you have any buick roadmaster parts i wish you'd check them out i didn't i've never seen this before no i'm not going to paint it <laughs> I like that. I, I like this patina look. If you've kept up with my channel, I, I just like patina look. And he'd put penetrol on it and all that stuff. Boiled linseed oil. I forgot which one he used. But anyway, it's come a long way since he since it got wrecked. But man, this is a beautiful car. I'll tell you a little bit about this car. The power, the factory power antenna works. The electric windows work. The power brake with the light, the, the light comes on works. It's an automatic. The radio is a wonder bar. Radio, which means you can press the wonder bar and the dial will move by itself till it finds a station. Radio station, that's AM. Remember, this is 1956. I like that glove box lock. It's just a it's just a really cool car. I like this chrome on the seat. It's a beautiful car. Anyway, just thought I'd show this to you. I hope that you hope you enjoy this. Uh Brian has his own YouTube channel he just started. It's GM. Tim 38. The Tim 38 is all together. GM Tim 38. Tim 38. So check him out. And if you like this kind of stuff or have any parts, why well, give us a holler. Or give give Brian a holler. And if you watch any of his videos, he as I said, he's just getting started. Uh, be sure you heard about him on Primer That's Best. I sure would appreciate. Just leave him a comment. Everybody needs words of encouragement now and again. And it would be really be good for him to hear some words of encouragement because, believe me, he's a little bit shy. So, anyway, I appreciate it. Hey, y'all have a great day. Please like, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, too. If you have not already, I'd appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. I'm on Instagram, Primate is Best, and Facebook. And I'll catch you next video. Y'all have a great day. See you later.